So we're honoring Earth Day at Olive with a 10-day Go Green with Shamim challenge. Now, if this is your first session with Shamim, um, let me tell you, she is somebody who is extremely passionate about the environment, going green and, uh, you know, uh, making sure her carbon footprint on this earth is mindfully, uh, you know, um, uh, experienced. And I want to introduce her to you all, those of you who don't know her. She is an Olive volunteer and Oliver. She is on board of our Olive Foundation. She's originally from India, graduated with a science major and settled and raised a family in the Orange County, California area. She likes to travel, read, and sew, likes to learn languages, particularly Arabic and Spanish. Uh, she has volunteered at schools, Sunday school, Boy Scout, soccer team, and briefly for care as well. Now, it is also Volunteer Appreciation Month in April, and, you know, volunteers like her make organizations like Olive run uh, because of their compassion and their commitment to our mission. So I wanted to acknowledge her commitment to Olive. She's always there. You will see her you know, in a positive spirit with the best energy possible. So we really honor that about you. And we're excited to have you here today. And this is a challenge. So it's going to be very practical. There will be homework involved. Yes. And, uh, because the last 10 days of Ramadan are being experienced by many of you. You know, we're trying to, you know, we're trying to create good habits, right? That will last for the rest of the year. So hopefully you get something out of this uh, message uh, that will be shared today and carry it on, not only in the next 10 days, but throughout the year. So welcome, Shamim. Let me put the spotlight on you. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Welcome to Aleph's 10-day uh, challenge. Um, you know, this is, um, this is month of Ramadan. And the month of Ramadan is all about um, restraint, uh, curing, and goodness. So, and also it happened to be um, the Earth Day tomorrow, April 22nd. So all these things are like really, really important in our like daily lives and how we um, kind of live uh, our life to make um, Earth a little better place. Um, and, and, you know, goodness can be achieved by doing small little things, not only just like praying and staying up at night and reading Quran. I mean, there are also the practical, like, you know, they call it that aspect is there too in Islam to uh, kind of uh, do all the, um, the kind and the good uh, practices. Um, and all these things kind of require uh, mindfulness, knowledge, and patience and deter, uh, determination. And if we all are determined to do something, uh, we all can do all these little things. Um, and I would like Zainab to share uh, the slideshow that I have created. My, actually, my son helped me create it. So um, this, is, this is my title, Go Green with Shamim, and then challenge for change. We all have to make some changes in our lifestyle and, to make, uh, make Earth a little uh, better place to live. And the next challenge, the next um, slide is about, um, I, have, I have acquired, um, uh, while I was reading Quran, I came up with these ayahs that really talk about the environment and how to take care of uh, our planet. And the first one is, um, um, you know, how Allah has made the, uh, sky as a protected ceiling and if we disturb that if we kind of uh, mess up with that then uh, it will cause a lot of damage and harm to the earth and that is what is happening that ozone layer uh, when you think about the ozone layer um, that is the protected ceiling that um, Allah has created and this corruption um, the, the whole world is like at the I mean this is like a, a really disastrous situation now with all the um, climate change and global warming and all that it's just all because what we have done uh, it is not that it this did not happen naturally it's because we caused 
um, all that thing to happen. So that, and the last one is verily all things have created in proportions and measures and Allah has made this earth perfect for us, but we are the one who kind of uh, messed it up and caused like so much imbalance. And, uh, and the next slide, uh, Zaina. And I, 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 my topic is like, uh, I, I picked four of these things, water, food, and plastic, and cleaners. I mean, they sound kind of little uh, off balance, but you know, the, the, the last two uh, are directly related with the first one. How would the last two negatively impact um, the first two? And the, the water, and you know, this, this lot, the, the environment has changed. The global warming is due to uh, fossil fuel, industrial waste, and agriculture, and also uh, plastic. So my main, my main um, actually in, focus is on plastic and the cleaners today, how they affect water and the food and uh, our health. And um, then uh, let, uh, let's go to the next slide, uh, Zainab. Uh, the water conservation is the most important thing right now for all of us. Uh, I mean, we all know that drought is the number one uh, serious hazard to uh, the livestock, humans, and um, all the crops, nearly every part of the world. And as you all know, living in California, um, we are in drought too. All like 11 Western states are in drought. So that's like, this, this, like really serious, um, um, seriously to consider how to uh, conserve water. So there are, there are ways that we can conserve water. One is diverting. Uh, recently I came across this um, uh, little gadget. It's called um, uh, toilet sink sink twice. So what they do is they, um, they divert the sink water that we use uh, and they connect it to the toilet so that the water is not wasted and used in the toilet flushing. So that is like really nice gadget. And I, I, I went and saw that gadget. It's like plumber can fix it very easily. So that is one of the things that we have to consider and kind of start working on that. Um, you must have heard the news about Porter, the Porterville in like central California. There is no water and there is no water in the city. Uh, the, the government has to bring the water containers and leave them in the yards. So all the city is using um, the water that is given to them. No, no faucets, no showers, no running water at all. And the second thing we can do about water conservation is reduce. Um, how do we reduce the water? Is um, like adjust the, um, the flow um, and set it to the low setting. Uh, you know, at the under the sinks, there is a little um, valve. You can kind of turn it kind of to the lower setting. So the water, when you turn the faucet on, is the the uh, the flow of water is very low. And um, and I'm going to kind of uh, this is since it's a it is happening during Ramadan, and we all are talking about our uh, our uh, the hadith and the Quran reading. And um, I'm, I'm sure they all um, remember uh, the, the hadith that we used to hear when we were little and still do. It is uh, related to Abdullah bin Amr bin al As. One day, one day he was doing wudu and Rasulullah passed by and asked him what a waste. Um, and he, he asked, doing wudu is waste. And then Rasulullah replied, yes, even if you are by the river, uh, even if you are by the flowing river, if you use it uh, leisurely, then it's a waste. Waste is like the word is uh, used israf in, um, in Islam. So Allah does not like israf. There was another, um, there was another quote about israf and the wastage that um, I forgot to add it, but it says Allah does not like um, the people who waste. And, and the third thing is recycle. How do we recycle? Re recycling, diverting water also is kind of recycling. Re recycling re recycle in the kitchen water is like very easy. Um, whenever we wash our vegetables, fruits, grains, and um, you know, this not very messy, dirty dishes, we can just collect the water and reuse it for planting and for the yeah. plants and the grass. 
and other purposes are. So usually I just leave one little container and then uh, when, whenever it gets filled, I just um, take it outside or sometimes I rinse um, with that water. And uh, use of the dishwasher is like one of the very important uh, thing, how we conserve the water, reduce the water flow. Um, and because the dishwasher this takes only three to four gallons of water to run the whole cycle. And instead of rinsing, just wipe it clean and uh, put it in the dishwasher. That one way of uh, saving life, uh, the water, and because water is life. And, and you know, in, out of all the billions of planets on, in the universe, only Earth has water. So this is like a special blessing from a land. We have to protect and save it. And the next slide, uh, Zainal, the next slide is about food. And uh, the food also is like, I mean, food is so important. 33% of all food products globally go to waste. It's like, um, it's like, a, like a huge um, wastage of food. And, and the, so many people are kind of uh, dying of hunger. Uh, so these are a few tips that I have came up, how to adopt the clean eating. Clean eating is, um, is like avoid packaged food and processed and refined foods because to make those products, there is a lot of energy required and a lot of chemicals are used and we don't want chemicals in, in our system and in our lifestyle. So uh, adopt the clean eating by eating natural food, uh, unprocessed food and organic as much as you can because it's always, it's not easy to find organic food all the time, but try uh, eat less and, um, and try to get uh, the, organic food because this conventional agriculture has caused a lot of damage to our soil and they say that in the last 100 years um, the 50 percent of the top soil uh, has gone it's, it's just no more and then another 50 years 30 percent more soil will be gone so if the soil is gone then um, it is going to cause more problems because the the top soil kind of filters um, and absorbs the carbon. If Earth loses that quality, then uh, we are in like big trouble. And then eat in moderation, eat less, um, try to avoid meat because meat production also is like a big challenge and share food. Uh, we can share food, not just like sharing a plate with somebody, like by donating, to the organizations who are feeding the hungry. So uh, consider this, um, eating healthy and eating clean is like really, really, very important for the environment and for us. In the next uh, slide, uh, Zainab. Yeah, well, this, is, this, is my, this is my topic. I'm so passionate about this. So uh, styrofoam and uh, plastics are the two one of the two major sources of causing um, this uh, global warming and climate change and toxic, the, the toxic fumes and whatever is happening in the environment. And, um, and I'm just going to quote another hadith. Um, it's related with uh, Abu Huraira where um, he heard uh, Rasul, he heard him uh, saying that even removing a a stone from your path, from the road, in, is an act of charity. So uh, it's, it's the small little stone, if it is harmful to somebody, just imagine the, um, the harm that this plastic and all the chemicals are causing. So I think it is, it is really, really, truly our responsibility to kind of do something about it and uh, um, start working on uh, towards the like a green lifestyle and the, uh, uh, the, the, the there is there are, there are some numbers here one truck full of plastic is dumped in the ocean per minute so that's that's the slot of plastic and disposable waste is the biggest problem in the world and now there's like too, not too much attention is given um, because the, the conferences occur every year, 
but the people meet, people discuss, but seriously, not too much has been done. Uh, we see more plastic production, we see more disposable items, you know, this last two years during pandemic, the amount of, um, I mean, I try not to buy, I try not to buy anything of plastic, but somehow it just gets in my house automatically. And I don't know <laughs> what to do with that. <laughs> so the, the bags, you know, at one time they were not even allowing in the stores to bring your own bags because of the um, pandemic. And I had collected a lot of plastic bags in it from that time. And um, and the form also is, the styrofoam is like a really, really bad thing. Um, it, 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 it leaches in the water system. It leaches and it causes like toxic fumes. We breathe, we breathe those fumes and we drink that fumes because, you know, all the uh, material goes in the water uh, and the, even um, it, it goes into ocean, it goes into river, all the water is. And then the, uh, another, another is the next one is the, uh, the next uh, slide. Next slide is um, about the chemicals. See, these are all the chemicals that we find in the stores. And uh, all these go in, in the drain. And from the, the drain, it goes to the treatment center, water treatment center. It's from there, it goes to waterways, to the rivers, to the lakes, and finally to the oceans. And that all this, um, all these chemicals are kind of reducing the amount of sea, the fish and the sea life. It is affecting sea life. So many areas are kind of losing their algae, losing their um, the sea creatures, is, and, and they're like they are kind of not only uh, losing the number, they are also kind of. Um, they, they, they have found like so many diseases and a lot of plastic in their systems. And that is really, really terrible for, I mean, you know, we have to be kind to the animals and we have to be kind to earth. We have to, we have to be kind to the plants and everything. And then if you're kind of dumping all the toxins in the water, it is kind of causing so much damage to them. And, um, uh, and you know, the, the first time when, when I came to this country, we, I had this can of endust in my house. And I asked him, what is this endust? My husband said it was, it is to clean the dust. And I said, wow, people make um, uh, something to clean dust. And uh, I came from a country where we take a, we take a little um, wet cloth and uh, dust the furniture and dust the areas that needs to be dusted. Why do we really need uh, um, a can of something to dust our furniture? I mean, that was like kind of mind boggling. But I, I was excited at the time and I did know the consequences of all the chemicals and toxins. So that time I thought it was very exciting to see that. Um, the next um, slide, please. So um, I have prepared some DIY uh, cleaning products. Um, these are these are very easy and simple to make. All types of cleaners can be made using these common uh, ingredients. Um, and these are I I started using this when I had my grandchildren. Uh, when they started sitting and eating uh, on the table, uh, they used to drop a lot of food, food on the um, uh, table. And then I, I thought, oh my God, I'm cleaning these surfaces with such toxic things. And my daughter brought something from Target, it's skull, I think it's honest or something. But again, it is, it is, it is a like little better than other products. But then I came up with, um, a uh, long time ago, I had this book. I forget the name of the book. Uh, this guy had talked about all the homemade cleaners and uh, polishes that you can use using non-toxic um, edible material. So oh, I, I knew that olive oil and vinegar is like, 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 a, like a really, really super uh, disinfectant and a cleaning agent. So I found all the recipes and uh, started using those products at home so that you know my grandchildren don't eat from the toxic surface because they always pick 
the food from table and eat, right? The little babies. Um, so this um, olive oil, vinegar, salt, baking soda, flour, and all these things are really, really like um, very handy, very easy to make. And this is what I have been using. Um, I'm going to share some of the recipes with you. Um, next slide, um, Zaina. And, uh, and, you know, by doing all these, by adopting to this kind of lifestyle, there is, a, there is a reward from Allah. And that is the best benefit that we can achieve. And during Ramadan, they say um, the reward multiplies 70 times. So here we go. Like, you know, every single small little deed we do, we are going to be rewarded 70 times more. So let's just start working. You know, tonight is the first big night. So um, I have some practices for you to kind of little uh, homework. Uh, let's see if we can do some of this. I mean, not if not all of them. Uh, I think we all of us can do a little bit of uh, everything um, because um, you know the and the another benefit is sustainable living will heal and protect the earth for the future, all the resources for future generations. You know, I mean, we're already having like such tough time with the heat and the global warming. Imagine 10 years from now, 20 years from now, or even 30 years from now. I don't know what kind of uh, life our grandchildren and great grandchildren are going to have. And uh, and another be benefit is losing using less. It re reduces the use of global um, uh, natural resources. Um, we have to leave food for our future generation. We just cannot waste and destroy the resources and not leave anything for them. Um, and that's, that's, that's very important. And the, another benefit is the cost effective. All these things don't cost too much money. It's, it's, it's just like, uh, you know, the fraction of the cost um, uh, by doing all this, you know, we have everything at home. All you have to do is, I don't even, uh, the, all the recipes require distilled water. I don't even use distilled water. Because um, again, I don't use distilled water because when you get distilled water, it comes in plastic bottles, and um, I don't want to buy plastic bottles. So I just use regular water. I don't I don't make in abundance. I just make like very small amount so that I can it, it's fresh and it doesn't become old or bad. And the next the next slide then. Uh, uh, actually, um, this um, can you go up? I think the last another slide is at the end. Yeah, this these are the challenge activities that I have um, made for you. If um, uh, if you start doing a little bit at a time, you know, because we we have to take small steps. We cannot like overwhelm ourselves. It takes very long time to uh, reach your goal. Um, it took me it took me about almost two and a half and three years to do what I do. Um, so it is it's not going to happen overnight. Maybe some people can do it. OK, one day they decide I'm not going to do anything. Maybe they can do it, but not. it's not for everybody. Everybody needs some time, and patience and uh, guidance and support. Uh, I need a lot of support um, from my family. In the beginning, it was very difficult, but slowly they understand. Even though they do not uh, do exactly what I, how I want them to do, but still, at least they support me and they don't complain. Before, in the beginning, oh, why no? Why don't you have paper towels? Why don't you buy napkins? Why don't you do this and that? But now they all know it is not going to happen in in my household. So they, they are, they're getting used to it. So the, the, the most important thing is to gain knowledge because without knowledge, without uh, finding out why, what is happening and why it is happening, it is very important. There are tons of articles, tons of books to kind of uh, learn about um, the environment and the global warming. And that once you read that, then you, re you will realize how important it is to kind of choose the lifestyle that people are opting to. Uh, and, and the first activity is read, and the second activity is to avoid plastic and styrofoam. And uh, styrofoam and plastic, whenever I go to masjid during Tarawi time, 
there's a truckload of plastic bottles. Every time I look at that, it really breaks my heart. It really, it, it, it makes me cry, honestly. So please, next 10 days, do not use any plastic bottle or do not use any plastic uh, product and styrofoam. If you need to go shopping, take your own bag. You can take um, paper bags, even paper bags I'm avoiding because there is another whole different topic about uh, deforestation and cutting down trees. So uh, my, I, I have, I'm, I'm kind of trying to adapt to a, a lifestyle where I don't use anything that is disposable. And conserve water, conserving water, like, like you know, the, during Vodou time, people constantly, like, you know, the water, the faucet is running constantly. Uh, it's not using using the faucet, it's just, you know, the faucet is like, it, it, it flows. I mean, uh, just one day, you know, when you do this normal way, the way you do Vodou, um, take a container and keep it under the sink and see how much water you collect. And then the second time, do wazoo by turning off and on. And then you will realize how much more water you save just by um, turning off the faucet during your uh, actions. Um, you know, I remember um, when I was little, uh, um, my gra grandparents used to do wazoo um, using a little, uh, we call it lota. I mean, all of you know what lota is. It's like a little container, uh, like how you water the plants. It's like that. It doesn't take more than half a gallon of water in it. And I remember, you know, they used to do a do with that. And they used to ask me to pour water um, so that, you know, they can do a do. And um, every time I poured water, they would say, easy, easy, to, you know, use a little amount of water. Don't use too much amount of water. Uh, uh, you know, as a little girl, I didn't really understand uh, why they were saying it. But now when I come to think of all this that's happening, it made so much sense. Such simple, nice people. Uh, and I mean, they really cared for um, uh, the resources and uh, the humanity and the earth, but we are kind of at the verge of really destroying it. And the next one is buy from the bulk bins by using your own bags. You know, a lot of stores, Smart and Final, Sprouts, and um, there are some uh, other stores uh, where uh, instead of buying the packaged products, you can buy in bulk. Um, we can just, um, just next 10 days, whenever you do shopping, try avoiding packaging that is wrapped in the plastic. So that will really save a um, lot of plastic. And uh, another thing is make your own products. Making your own products is like really, really very simple and easy. It just does not cost any time or money. It's very, very simple. Or if if you don't have time, if you're not up to that, you can go get the stuff from the refill stations. You know, there is a refill station here in Orange County. It's called Eco Now. And that's the, I'm wearing that shirt, if you can see it. Uh, but, um, it's just like... This is, this is the shirt. It says, um, be eco now, not eco later. So um, this, this store has everything um, in, in barrels and bins. You can, it's not, not the food, not the food items, all the house cleaning products and all the cosmetics, um, laundry and dishwasher, everything is there. All you have to do is just take your own container, containers and refill it. Like vin vinegar, I always get the vinegar from them because um, I don't want to buy vinegar in the plastic bottles. The only thing that I'm really not able to find is the um, oils. Um, I just found out about this store in LA where you can buy groceries um, like oil, honey, and other stuff also from the refilling bins. So I'm gonna, um, that's my next step to kind of go and um, get that thing done. That would be one of my challenges. So um, let's see if I can do it in this last 10 days or maybe after Ramadan. And another thing is like eat less than healthy. Um, healthy eating again uh, is gentle to your health and gentle to earth. 
and eating less is good for your health and it will feed another person if you eat less. Um, I just, uh, just read an article um, a few days ago then in Jakarta, Indonesia, during la the last Ramadan, they wasted 200 ton more food in Ramadan than any other month. So, I mean, Ramadan is the month of uh, sacrifice, month. Ramadan is month of self-restraint, Ramadan is the month of uh, doing good, right? If you are wasting, being a Muslim country, wasting 200 tons of food, it's not um, act of charity. It's not act that is that should be done during Ramadan. And then last um, uh, challenge activity is donate to the organizations who are um, uh, kind of taking the initiative to um, make the difference in the world or to any um, charity that needs food and uh, you know that feeds hungry people. And um, this is this is what um, I have come up with, and um, and I have a lot of lot of information about how to get the uh, green products and how to uh, where to buy and how to order. Um, so if you have any questions after my little demonstration of um, making your own products, you can ask me questions and and I will answer all the questions. I I hope. I have kind of inspired you to do some small little steps to make our uh, beautiful earth livable again, not unlivable and destructive for our, our future generation. Thank you. That is amazing. You uh, spoke so passionately and your commitment is truly inspiring. I know all of us are possibly you can look around in your current space and see all the plastic around us or, you know, random things that we could definitely, you know, look at it at a different lens. Um, so uh, do you want me to go back to the recipes? How do you want to take the next? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to yeah, go back to the recipes. These are very simple and easy recipes. So, yeah. The, Questions the... before or after? Uh, yeah, before or after, doesn't matter. Yeah. Anybody right now, uh, the current audience with the presentation that you've seen, any comments even, or some things that have worked for you, or um, uh, any suggestions for the group? I mean, I think all the goals that she's come up with are definitely things that are very doable, very practical. Um, and I, I welcome you to share this. If you're in an on, Olive online uh, WhatsApp group, you're welcome. If you find an article uh, that is really worth sharing, uh, I will allow you to share because it is prog for our program purposes. Um, and then the plastic and styrofoam, this is a big one, uh, especially during this month. Absolutely. Um, I know I recently went to an eco-friendly iftar where I had to take my own plates and spoons. Uh, so everybody, like 100 people were there and everybody brought their own plates and spoons. Um, there is a question about how do we avoid styrofoam during masjid iftar? Um, <laughs> I, mean, uh, I can answer that and then I will leave it up to the audience to kind of come up with the answer. My answer is like never buy, like ask the masjid administration not to provide any styrofoam. That is one way of uh, eliminating. And uh, another one uh, can come up, um, the audience can uh, give the advice on that. Yeah, I have one. Uh, I mean, since you bring this up, Sister Sophia, um, I am involved with another organization uh, who is a partner to Olive called Art and Wilderness Institute, and they started a green masjid initiative, right? And their little young students who usually do our Olive outdoors, they are willing to go and speak to the mosque boards and talk to them and make them realize the harmful effects of plastic and styrofoam. And, you know, that can be brought into the culture. So number one, they stopped buying, stopped buying anything further uh, that involves plastic and styrofoam. As a mosque, they decided, like, you know, they write it down, like, 
when from now onwards, you know how we have peanut free campuses, just like that plastic and styrofoam free campuses, and they can adopt based on it does take a lot of money and funding to create a lot of those uh, like water refill stations is something that is expensive. Uh, but, you know, if they put it in their contracts, if they have a vendor coming and selling food, no, we do not allow styrofoam. So the vendor needs to figure out a way to sell food without using styrofoam products or, you know, certain types of plastic products and use more eco-friendly disposable products. So those are some things. Um, there is a question here about what is the name of the bulk place for oils in L.A.? Yeah, that um, I, I forgot the name of the store, but I'm just going to send it to Zaina to post it in the wherever it's needed. Sure. Uh, it's, it's called um, something, um, you know, that is that is a little far. It's about like 50, 55 minutes from here in Culver City. Uh, I will come up. I'll, I'll find the name and give it to you. Sure. I, I'm uh, Googling that. So I would like to yes, share. ask him about cutlery also. What about cutlery? Is there other options for cutlery? Other option for cutlery? Yeah, uh, uh, you know, for disposable or... Oh, for disposable, there is compostable products are available. But again, you know, you're wasting, you're, you're buying it and throwing it, right? So you just take your own utensils with you. That's what I do. I have a bag that I always carry with me. I have my napkin and I have my utensils with me and my straw and my glass bottle or metal bottle. That would be a great project uh, for an in-person session. We can make a little uh, cut yeah. a little pouch. How about yes. that? That's a really good idea. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, I'd, I'd like to add something to what Shamim had mentioned about um, water while we're making wudu. Um, um, our prophet, peace be upon him, you used to use one mud of water and that was a, a measurement that they used at his, in his time. And um, today you can purchase one of those uh, prophetic wudu bowls, they're in copper. Uh, yeah. And the, the actual measurement of one mud is, um, I think it's like, uh, hold on, let me see. It's like 700 and something mils uh, 775 mils and if you just have a little you can make you don't have to even go and buy this um, a copper utensil you just me measure 775 in a bowl and then you have an idea of how 775 mils is in in a plastic in any bowl that you have maybe not plastic use glass um uh, or a metal uh, bowl and you've got your measurement now. And so for every time you make wudu, um, you just fill that bowl up because you know I have 775. When you initially first see this water, you're gonna think, oh my gosh, it's so little. How am I gonna make my wudu with this? But when you start making your wudu, you'll end up finding, you, you'll find that you still have even water left over if yeah. you make your wudu. So every time that we make wudu, and a lot of us today in this last hundred years, you know, with the tap, the water is running and we're making our wudu and we, we're wasting a lot of water. Mm -hmm. So um, if anyone is interested in going that path with the water, wudu water and uh, preserving the water, um, I would suggest that the one mud that the prophet used to take is 775 mils. So yeah, uh, that. I just wanted to add that to what Shamim had mentioned yeah. about how Thank your grandparents you. were uh -huh. using a certain amount. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they did everything so now way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and it's like only like about two and a half to three cups of water. Yeah. Yeah, four, four cups of water approximately. And you know, and, and again, another thing is like, we don't have to wash three times, uh, you can just wash it one time only, unless like you're coming from outside and very dirty, then washing three times each part is like uh, recommended, it's observed, but you can go, you can go with the one time only. Right. And, and you know, I will post the information about the Econo stories in one is in Anaheim, one is in Costa Mesa. 
and uh, one is, uh, I think, somewhere in Riverside or something. Yeah. And, there, and there are a lot of products you can order online, but online ordering also, um, you know, contributes towards a lot of plastic and a lot of boxes. Uh, the blue land, I use blue land, Grove, and Ethic and Drop brands. Those those chemicals are like very gentle. Um, and there is another option, uh, not to the sink, but from the laundry machine uh, to outside. You can divert the gray water. You know they call it gray water. That can be di diverted and collected in the barrel, so that you can water to grass and non-edible um, trees. Uh, it, because all those all those um, detergents are um, chemical free and very gentle to the uh, earth and trees and plants, so we can water that. I mean that that is my next step, inshallah. And uh, just pray that I'm able to do that and convince my husband to do it. <laughs> <laughs> are we ready to see the recipe demo? Yeah. Let me see how I can do this. If I can take my computer and do it from there, I'll do it. Otherwise. Um, um, what are your spray bottles made up of? Are they glass? Oh, these are all glass. This I use it for stainless steel, and this one is for this orange one. I use it for wood, and the green one is for all purpose. Um, and all these things are made out of all this material. This, uh, this I have this uh, white vinegar, distilled vinegar. It's five percent, and this is olive oil. I, I don't use this olive oil because this is expensive. I use the cheap olive oil from uh, you know Trader Joe's or uh, Ralph's or you know the, the non-branded oil. Um, and this one is just like essential oils. This is lavender, and this is orange, um, citrus, and um, this is baking soda. And uh, I either I use baking soda or salt. Uh, can you go to the, uh, or maybe I just have the recipe in here. Um, uh, also, how to make um, where is, where is my recipe? Can share the presentation with if I hope all of you are on our Olive online WhatsApp, I will be able to share the recipes there. Okay. But I can share it really quickly. Which one are we doing first? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the um, wood. The wood one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're using olive oil, vinegar, essential oil. Yeah. And I think it's like um, half half of olive oil and one uh, full. Yeah, half cup of olive oil. Yes, half cup. <laughs> so. Oliver's, if you would like to take a picture, you can, uh, or I will be sharing it. Yeah. Okay. Shamim, is this something that we have to use straight away, or um, would it last us to use for a few occasions? Um, you know, it lasts for a very long time, maybe um, a month or so. Okay. Yeah, it's like only one cup of uh, vinegar and half cup of water. And you buy glass spray bottles. Yeah, this is a good, but this is plastic. From, from my, for, I call it from days of my jahiliya. <laughs> <laughs> So where did you get those glass spray bottles? Um, this, this I got it from Target. Okay. From Target the, sells lot of uh, eco products. It's a company called the Grove. Grove, yeah. This is Grove, yeah. yeah. What does the label say there? Such pretty colors. Do, do the does it say something on the labels? Yes, yeah, it says Grove Company. Oh, it just says that. Okay. Yeah, you can put your own labels. I have plain bottles also that I use, and I have. Half cup of uh, quarter cup of vinegar and one cup of uh, I mean it, it doesn't have to be exact proportions you can just like you know alter and do accordingly and uh, you know this is such amazing 
it makes such amazing wood cleaner. Um, uh, it, it just wood shines. Would you use that on your um, kitchen cabinets? Kitchen cabinets, floors. I don't have wooden floor, but it, it can be used in kitchen floor. And this is, you know, I like to put the citrus in it because it takes away the smell of vinegar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea. Olivers, I would love for each one of you to make at least one of these recipes in the next 10 days. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very easy. All these things you have it at home. If you don't have the essential oil, it's okay. It's like not necessary. It's just like give some uh, good flavor, good smell um, to it. And uh, you just. Where, do you know a local place where that sells um, essential oils? Uh, I, I get it from my eco, eco, um, eco the eco now. Um, they, you know, you take your own bottles and then they refill the bottles for you. Oh. You don't even have to buy bottles, like, you know, and then shake it, shake it well. And your wood cleaner polisher is ready. Oh, that's amazing. Yep, and then uh, the next one is glass cleaner. This is the simplest um, thing. This was so easy. Yeah. Your 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 uh, wooden cabinets are so clean. I would have asked you to do a demo for us. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can do that. I'll do a demo. I also like how you've color coordinated everything, so you don't yeah. even need a label, right? You know. I know. I know because um, this is a stainless steel that you know you never go wrong with this, and the wood is a little bit orangeish brown, so I use that one. Uh, and uh, the all-purpose cleaner is. Um, you know, I use the same thing for glass and uh, stainless steel because it works good for both. Um, and uh, for the um, for the glass, one cup of water and quarter, uh, one cup of water and quarter cup of vinegar. Let me quickly show the recipe. What are we doing again? Uh, glass, glass, and um, mirror cleaner. Okay, water and vinegar is like everywhere. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yes. You know, uh, you know, uh, the uh, one of my like the memories at my grandparents' house is like vinegar because they used vinegar like day and night, and he used to call vinegar a uh, uh, a vendor product because he used to say that you can do anything with uh, vinegar. And there is a hadith about vinegar too that uh, Rasulullah said that whoever has vinegar in their home, there is no hunger comes to them or something. Uh, exactly. Yes. I, don't, uh, I because, use vinegar and water on the quartz counter and it cleans it very well, better than any other cleaner. Yes, yeah. And then this... Um, or mopping too. And the quarter cup of, <laughs> cup of vinegar. My, my friend suggested once to me to put a bowl of vinegar in our dishwasher and run it empty and it cleans the entire inside of the dishwasher so well. Right, it does. You can yeah, even the washing can machine. The, with the washing mm -hmm. machine to... Yeah, yeah. And, and in this one, I don't put too much um, um, the essential oil, just like one or two drops. And this, your glass cleaner or your stainless steel cleaner is ready. Doesn't vinegar also burn body fat? Yes, yeah, it's what they say. Yeah, little yeah. vinegar. You know the this one I'm going to demonstrate. This little, um, you know the the metal cleaner. It says that you I I have a copper a brass um, sink that I use that for, and even for a stainless steel or anything. It's uh, I think it's called metal cleaner or something. Can you go to that one? Okay. Like an equal equal amount of baking soda. Like a um, one tablespoon. Where is my tablespoon? Okay, I'll just take a teaspoon. What type of flour is this? All purpose? All purpose. All purpose flour. Okay. Either salt or baking soda. Um, anything is good. 
This is one teaspoon baking soda and the one teaspoon flour. The tablespoon is there, anyways. This is fine. And uh, the equal amount of um, vinegar. So I just start pouring and mixing it until I get the desired consistency. Um, because you should be able to kind of, uh, it should be like um, liquid enough to uh, not become like too dry. So just a little bit of vinegar. <laughs> Either you can put salt or um, baking soda. There is another question about suggestions for detergents to wash clothes. Oh, the, um, yeah, there are two options. Uh, this drop company makes very, uh, very good environmentally friendly products. That's what I have been using for almost like two years. They are pretty good. Uh, it doesn't have any harmful chemicals. Or uh, there is another called Blue Land. They are also very good. They are, and they are not very expensive. Um, they are very, they are very good. Or if you don't want to buy those, you can go to the refill station and bring your own, um, take your own uh, container and bring the products from them. Dishwashing and um, laundry or any kind. Actually, I get my shampoo and conditioner from them too. Um, I don't know if you have ever used Aveda Aveda products. They they feel and they look very much like Aveda products. Oh. You, know, you know, I would love to do a tour of this Echo sta uh, store that you're no, Yeah, it's, it's like they are very, the people are very nice. How would you guys like that? Oliver's, would you be interested in taking a yeah. field trip? To can you store? see, can you see this one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, it's just, you yes, all you do is just see, like yes. take a little paste of this and uh, start rubbing. And these are my, uh, scraps that I just, you know, the swatches that I cut from the old, old clothes and the old clothes, the t-shirts and all the sleeves and the neck and all is just like, you know, useless, right? I mean, you can't do anything with that. So these are the small pieces from there. And uh, all you have to do is just rub it and it just cleans and shines like anything. Sinks, you know, the just pour a little bit of uh, vinegar in the sink and uh, clean it with a sponge. You don't need any bleach. You don't need anything. It's just the floor also. I just put like cover. I take one gallon of water and then put a cup of vinegar in it, and then there you go. Your floor is clean. Yeah, I do that. Yeah, the only thing uh, you have to avoid vinegar is on marble and. Um, uh, uh, the uh, granite because it's like porous, right? And if you do, you have to wipe it with uh, water again. So it's just, this is done, it's clean. And just wash it and then it will be like shiny and like new. Uh, I clean all my appliances like this. Uh, vinegar and a little bit flour if you want paste. And the, we have a cooktop, the glass cooktop. I use the same thing on the glass cooktop. It's just like, you know, this is, this is, this is life, honestly. Vinegar, yes. And any more questions, anything? And I, I, or if you, if you don't want to go buy the reef from the refill center, you, you make the liquid. I make the soap also. You, I mean, actually you can literally make anything in the house. And then, this is, you know, the, 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 the foam soap, um, the handmade foam soap, um, this also is from the Blue Land. This is called Blue Land Company. And then all you do is just like um, pour water in it. Pour water in the jar. They say to use distilled water and I don't. And this drop this tablet and like in 10 minutes it will form the hand soap and if you don't want to do this they sell in the eco uh, 
eco in our store. What's the tablet you put in? It's a tablet for uh, hand, hand, hand soap. It's the foaming hand soap. You get, the, you get the tablets and they send it in like a very eco-friendly packaging. Uh, there is no plastic uh, involved in that. Uh, they send, you, you can make your bathroom cleaners, you can make um, um, hand soap, you can make not the liquid soap for the dishwashing, but you can make glass cleaners. You, you know, all the tablets, uh, they come in the tablets form. All you have to do is just like use your own bottle and water. And it's ready. I, I I have not bought this like you know the, uh, store products in a very very long time. Mm -hmm. The only thing I buy is like you know maybe once a month or once in two weeks I use like really harsh bathroom cleaners for the toilet. Otherwise I don't. You know bathroom cleaning also is like very easy. You just pour some baking soda in the toilet. Mm -hmm. and rub it and uh, let it stand for a few minutes and then pour about 20% or 30% white vinegar that you don't get it in the store either you have to get it from industrial um, what you call uh, maybe Home Depot I used to get it from Home Depot but now I don't find it in Home Depot so you order it online it's like 20% or 30% uh, white vinegar uh, as soon as you pour vinegar on that all the uh, the spots, all the dirt, everything kind of, it just cuts and then the bowl is clean. No, no, no bleach, no ha ha harmful chemicals. So Shamim, have you also trained your cleaning lady? Well, say it again, sorry. What about your cleaning lady? Is she working with these products? Actually, in the beginning, she had a little difficulty, but now she does. Um, but for the bathrooms and all, she says, no, I want... Uh, uh, the regular products it doesn't work because you know she doesn't want to work you know you have to uh, like they call it what you call the uh, elbow grease uh, you have to really work hard <laughs> and she doesn't want to do that so I mean you know I mean you can't expect people to do it um, sometimes she uses the glass cleaner uh, the can because she likes the can um, but if she's not there I this is what I use but she's, she's, she uses all these tablets, she uses all the, you know, the glass cleaners and all. Uh, she doesn't mind using this, but only for the bathroom uh, and the mirrors and the uh, glass, uh, she wants that. And, um, and another, another kind of caution for uh, window cleaning, for the, for the, the glass for the windows. Um, I don't know, I have not, um, we have tinted windows because the tinted lining is from inside. Uh, I don't know if it damages or not. Um, the vinegar is kind of acidic, right? Yeah. So, um, that avoid that one. But rest of it, the marble floor, glass windows, and the countertop, granite countertop. You just have to use little, you know, just soap and water for this one. Uh, what is the name of the soap tablet? I think it's it was from Blue Land. Yeah, Blue Land. Blue Land makes all kinds of tablets. All you do is just get the tablets and make your own uh, stuff. And there is another called Clean Cut. Uh, the Clean Cut soap comes in the paper container, not in the plastic container. And, and for the shampoo also, there are like shampoo bars and, um, you know, I have a lot of, lot of things to share, but I don't think we have time to do that. And um, uh, you know, the dental floss and all that come in the little stainless steel container and the floss is like either cotton or silk, not plastic, not nylon. I know, I can't believe we are, uh, you know, we hit our 12 uh, p.m. mark. If you time flew by so fast. Yeah. Um, any last minute questions before we end today's session? One question. Um... Zainab, uh, Shamim, is that, you know, your, your ingredients, do you use sugar also? How do you? Yes. You know, sugar, I use, you know, sometimes when your pans, when you're cooking, it kind of gets like really bad, uh, you know, the while cooking, if it dries up and leaves a lot of brown, uh, the black stuff, and if it doesn't go away by scrubbing, all you do is just pour a little bit of sugar mm -hmm. and then it, it comes off easily. 
Oh. Wow. Well, he's <laughs> making so he does work. a scrubber. Yeah, either, either either that or salt. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, 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 you know, all those stainless steel cleaners and all, they're like, you know, when you put them on the dishes, it smells so bad. Um, it's like so strong, right? Uh, sugar and salt is so harmless. I mean, it's not good to eat, but it is good to use. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Thank you, Shameen. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right, Oliver's before. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just need you to sit on your, the chair so we can see you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we're seeing all these the products. Uh, what an inspiring um, session today. Yeah. Can, I mean, some of you, Oliver's, did speak up. Some of you haven't. If uh, this is a good uh, round do you, table. Do you see me? Yes. Yes. Now yes. Yeah. So if everyone can share maybe one thing that they are willing to try next, probably in the next one or two days. Let's go around the room. What is one change, thing change that... my equipment at home? I already do the carrying my plate around. And okay. I just have to to get the right equipment like okay. you. There you Shall go. You... Anyone else? Yes. What is Stop one... using plastic bottles. Take I have that. been doing that. I've you have that. you have olive bottles, right? All yes. of you <laughs> if you do. If you don't, let me know. It's available on our store online. See, it's it's dissolving. Yes, oh. it is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anybody else would like to share one thing they would adopt in the next one to two days? I'm inshallah going to check out this refill station. I never heard of this. So right. Definitely. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Anything yeah. else? Yeah, like, the wood cleaner. I'm gonna use the wood cleaner. Mm, okay. I'd like to use plastic bags. Find find some of those eco-friendly bags that you had to store food in. Perfect. Anybody yes. else? Same here. I'm gonna make a cleaner. You're gonna make a cleaner, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. For once, yes. you have all the all the ingredients, right? They're so easily available. Everyone has those at home. Yeah. All right, perfect. So thank you again, Shamimanti, for inspiring us with going green, especially in this blessed month. We're in like very motivation. We have no food to cook in the daytime. You can make the recipe <laughs> of <laughs> instead. Uh, so it, it's a it's an easy recipe to adopt. Um, so if all of Community Services is a 501c3 nonprofit organization based in Southern California that provides culturally appropriate services to seniors, their family, and the community. Through its physical and virtual interactive programs, Olive engages participants in a variety of ways that promotes health and well-being. To learn more about Olive Community Services, to get involved, or to make a donation, please visit www.olivecs.org or email info at olivecs.org. Be a change maker and together let's live, learn and thrive.